Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. Who are shields, just like turfs, peasants, vassals, robots? I am a useful idiot. And uh, I've talked before about doing a, a video on DARPA, or the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. So I'm going to do that video today. And uh, this, uh, this organization has uh, popped up in the news a few times recently, including the uh, father of the Colorado shooter apparently had some connections with uh, DARPA. And uh, DARPA is a really interesting organization. It's a loose collection of scientists who do not work together. They work in their own labs and their own projects and are only associated under the umbrella of DARPA. They all work on their own independently, developing their individual technologies and in their individual areas of expertise. And they use uh, over 140 different scientists and uh, they have a staff of 240 overall. So it's a very small organization. And uh, they have a pretty decent sized budget, $3.2 million billion a year. Um, but that's just the, the development stage. Because once the technology is adopted, of course, it costs considerably more when it's put into the military industrial complex. So uh, we have um, all the big weapons manufacturers like Northrop Grumman and uh, GE and the like who have their own weapons development programs. But they generally focus in on traditional weaponry and upgrading already existing technology. But DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, is really uh, on the cutting edge. In fact, some suspect that military technology is actually 50 years in advance of what we see publicly now. And I have no reason not to believe that, considering how long the stealth bomber was kept under wraps before that was revealed. And of course now we have a whole panorama of stealth technology and stealth equipment and stealth planes and tanks. And uh, so now that technology is completely revealed. So today DARPA's mission is still to prevent technological surprise on the U.S. But it also has to create technological surprise for our enemies. And uh, interestingly, it was established in 1958 in response to the Russians putting the first satellite in space, Sputnik. And um, we didn't, uh, we were so surprised by their technological advance that we wanted to make sure that never happened again. So I think one of the funniest things to me about uh, DARPA, if there's anything funny about it, is the fact that they've uh, dropped the defense part of their name over the years and then gone back to so uh, a few times in its history, it's been known as the Advanced Research Projects Agency. And then it goes back to the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency. And then it goes back to the Advanced Research Projects Agency. And now, again, it's back to the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency. For some reason, they get more self-conscious about using the word defense in it over the years. But that is the nature of government, I suppose. And. Um, they have six basic programs. They have the one, which is the adaptive executive, which is the coming up with more interesting and innovative ways of using new technologies to um, manage the battlefield. And then we have uh, their second program is the defense sciences, which of course is all sorts of uh, weapons, including non-lethal weapons like microwave weapons and particle beams. And number th their third program is the information innovation, uh, which essentially is a, a way to create uh, cognitive dissonance um, to use information on the battlefield. And then we have the number four program is microsystems technology, which of course is uh, everything involved in the nuts and bolts of daily running of the military machine. Then we have number five is the strategic technology, which of course is battlefield strategy and technology and, and new innovations that can uh, advance that science. And then of course the last program is tactical, tactical technology, which is uh, obviously the battlefield tactics and upgrading those and coming up with innovations to address battlefield issues. So there's those six programs, the Adaptive Ex Executive Program, the Defense Sciences Program, the Information Innovation Program, the Microsystems Technology Program, 
the Strategic Technology Program, and the Tactical Technology Program. Can you give me an idea of what they've uh, developed so far? Um, DARPA is actually the organization in science that came up with what we now know as the Internet. And they also are the same organization that came up with the idea of global positioning, uh, satellite tracking. And um, some of the things they're working on now are uh, something known as, uh, well, a lot of robotics, including something known as the Big Dog, which is an all-terrain robotic uh, uh, machine. And then we have anti-submarine unmanned vessels. And then we have combat zone citywide surveillance systems. We have high energy liquid laser guns. We have human universal load carriers. We have molten penetrating munitions. We have remote controlled insects. We have satellite remote listening. And we have a flying armored car. So these are some of the new projects in the works. So when you read about um, insect robots and new drones of all configurations, um, they are coming from DARPA. Um, I haven't seen it listed in the roster of DARPA developments, but of course there's that startling footage of a human soldier cloaking device um, in a rack. And uh, I will post that below so you can see that. Now, I'm sure that's a technology that uh, something like DARPA would be working on and we could possibly be seeing a lot of new technology developed by DARPA in the field in the battle zones of Afghanistan and Iraq. So I wouldn't be surprised about that at all. And um, there's also a organization called IARPA, which is the intelligence community's uh, scientific uh, network. So we have a uh, counterpart in the intelligence, com intelligence community that also develops uh, all sorts of cutting edge science fiction, um, futuristic technology for the police state, surveillance state. So, uh, so this is an important uh, uh, organization to know about, DARPA, and I'll put a bunch of interesting links below showing some of the uh, some of the things they developed. They actually have their own YouTube channel, which I'll put a link to, and uh, there's a lot of interesting information out there about them. So. Uh, you know, once again, we have a lot of military technology that's being developed. It's very innovative, very um, futuristic, um, very much under wraps. And in the future, a lot of this technology can be used for civilian use as well. And so we'll see a lot of uh, great developments come out of this. But as usual, there's a very uh, dark side to what DARPA does. And um, developing futuristic uh, military technology and uh, police surveillance state technology. So a mixed blessing like everything that we get from the government. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too.